Hey, what's up my friends, Nick Arapkalis here. And on this video, I'm gonna show you a very specific strategy and basically a tutorial on how you can start generating ClickBank sales, even if you're a beginner with a free high quality traffic source. Hey, what's up guys, Nick Arapkalis here. And as I just mentioned in the intro to this video, I'm gonna show you how to start making ClickBank sales, even if you're a beginner, with a free high quality traffic source. I haven't seen too many sh people share this method. In fact, it's kind of a culmination of what I've developed along with some of my mentors. But this is, this is a really great strategy and this can apply to anything. It can apply to ClickBank, it can apply to your own products and services. If you are selling something that's going to help people, then this, this strategy can work, okay? It is more of a long-term strategy, and that's typically the case with free traffic methods, but if you are consistent with this, you can start generating consistent sales over time, okay? I need you to have that type of mentality no matter what. Even if you are you know, wanting to make a ton of money right now, I get that, I get that, but if you have the patience, if you have the perseverance and the mindset that if you just start building this stuff up, it's going to compound over time, you're going to be heads above the rest, especially, you know, in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, especially a couple of years, you're just going to be at the top of the game. And this is going to be a main component, a main staple to have it helping you have success. Okay. So I have my little note here, pad here. So bring this over here. So this is kind of an overview of what we want to do. And again, this is not something like quick and easy, like where you're just going to do some a few clicks and you're going to be making a ton of money nothing like that happens okay so you have to be systematic about it and you have to be strategic about it and that's why i'm sharing with you everything a to z with this particular method now you may have heard some of this stuff before but i guarantee you have not heard the way i'm going to teach it and the specific strategy that we're going to get into okay so first and foremost choose your niche okay and you've probably heard of this before but the reason that you want to do this is because the people that are specific that can speak to their target market that are a specialist in that particular area are the ones that make more money that's just the that's just the way it is okay think about doctors a general practitioner versus brain surgeon who makes more brain surgeon so select your niche and then find some relevant products within that so what i will do for this particular video is i'm going to do focus on fitness okay women's fitness in particular and i'll show you why so i'll click on fitness and let's come into yeah, let's come into women's health okay so let's look at these and this i strongly encourage you to just do research on these products and that's going to be your that's going to be on on you okay you got to figure out which products are going to serve people i'm just helping you with the marketing here okay so you know whether it's a yoga burn or a power of hormones um, you know, again, like you really need to research this stuff via and find out if these are the products that are going to be something that you want to actually uh, sell to people. I'm going to come on a diets and weight loss because there's, I think these are a little bit better products from what I've seen. But let's just say fat belly fix is one of the things that we are going to sell. Maybe lean belly breakthrough. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to click on promote and then generate your hop links. And then what I like to do is I copy this guy and I come over to clickmagic.com and I'll do flat belly fix and put the URL right there. And then so now I have, where is it? There we go. Flat belly fix. And then I can take this link and this is the link that I want to send to people. Okay, so I just copy that. I'll put it back in my notepad. Put that down at the bottom so that I know when I'm ready to send this to someone, then that is a link. Because then it, it just looks kind of ugly. I don't really like that. So I like ClickMagic better. I'll put the link down in the description if you want to try out ClickMagic. It's a great service. It tells you how many clicks you're getting, how many actions, all that kind of stuff. So, all right. So now that we have um the market that we want to serve we want to serve women's fitness in this particular we find some relevant products and then we create the the click magic links now we're going to talk about how to actually start marketing this so 
this is a this is a page I've used in the past. I don't really use it too much anymore, but I just want to use it for example purposes. The key behind this method that I'm teaching here is is on Instagram, as you can obviously see here. Now, the key staple here is you have to give quality content. You have to post consistent quality content if you want to have this strategy work. If you're not going to do that, then the strategy is not going to work. So you can do one of two ways. You can create your own content, which is right here. So you can create, you have to create quality, valuable content. Okay, you can teach people in your particular niche. You can create your own content or you can curate other people's content. Now, I would recommend that you actually, you actually create your own content and especially videos. You should be teaching stuff on your particular niche. So in this case, women's fitness, you should be teaching things that's going to help women get more fit. And by them just watching your content, it's going to help them, okay? That is what I recommend. If you don't wanna do that or you wanna kinda of mix it up, what you can do is, is curate other people's content. So what you can do is, and this was a, kind of a women's fitness page, because I showed like this stuff, like this is stuff that you could definitely repost. And I was just reposting this too, just because I was testing some things out. But basically what you can do is just come on, click here, you, you right click on it and you do go to view page source. And then what you do is control F and then you type in dot JPEG if you're going for a picture. And then you go here, you copy all of this all the way to dot net, copy that, open up a new tab, Press enter and boom, you get there, you press, you right click on it and then you can just save image. Now, if you're going for a video, if you're curating a video, it's the same process, but all you gotta do is, again, come go to view page source after you right click, control F and instead of JPEG, you type in MP4. And so this is the link that you'd wanna grab. So it's the same, same process. Copy that, open up a new tab, open that. And then here we got a video and then you do save video as. And boom, you're all set to go. You have content to curate. And again, we come back to this. But the key is you gotta have consistent quality content. I should put consistent. Consistent quality content. You have to be posting on a regular basis. The more you post, the better it's gonna be. And again, I recommend that you do your own content, but if you don't want to, you just wanna test this stuff out, curate other people's content. Now, what do we do now? Well, we have our page up, okay? And again, this is just in a little example one. But now, what do we do, okay? The first and foremost, what you need to do is start doing the $1.80 strategy. And basically what this is, is kind of a thing coined by Gary V. but you go out there and you connect with people in your niche, okay? They're not just gonna come to you, you have to go out there and connect with people. So what I would recommend that you do is type in some type of hashtags. So in this case, we'll do women's fitness again. Women's fitness, it's a good hashtag to go after because people that are in women's fitness would probably be your ideal customer, your client. So what we wanna look at is here is like, yes, these are some good posts right here, but these have a lot of engagement on them. So I'm not really gonna be focused too much on these ones, rather what I would do is come over to the most recent and find the ones that don't have a whole lot of engagement. And then what I'm gonna do here, kind of digest the content, see what they're talking about, and then I'll come in here, I'll like it, and then I'll throw a comment in there that's very relevant and makes them feel good. Because imagine what if you just posted something and someone that you didn't know that came in and they just left a really heartfelt genuine comment and just really made a lot of sense to the content like you would probably be a little inclined to go check out their profile and if they have quality content you're gonna be like oh damn like this is actually a cool profile they give a lot of value on here let me let me connect with them okay so you want to keep doing that and you want to keep doing that on a consistent basis you want to set aside at least an hour a day to do this, okay? Especially when you're starting out. If you don't wanna do it, just hire someone else to do it, but you need to do that. You need to get someone to go out there and consistently con um, engage with your target market. So you do this, you know, an hour a day, just set aside a time every day to do it, and you just come in here. I mean, look at this girl, she has four likes and no comments. If you left like a really genuine comment on there, be like, oh, those are awesome shorts, I love the pink. Um, you, you fit it really well. How did you get those or you know some you gotta ask a question but make it very genuine 
and you can see the, how many people that's going to bring back to your profile. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to do two things. You want to DM your new followers. You send them a direct message. And what I recommend, honestly, what I've been doing lately is doing voice messages, saying, "Hey, I saw that you followed me. Just wanted to reach out and connect. Uh, love your page. Blah 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 blah." Okay. And that just it just goes a little bit further, and you're connecting with people, and that's the whole idea behind this. You're connecting with people. I know it's a crazy concept. It's not about just like trying to just make quick, schemy little clickbank sales. It's actually about connecting with people, and then once you're connected with them, then you can take it to the next step and see if it's a right fit for them to purchase your clickbank product. Okay. Now the other thing I recommend to cultivate more of engagement within your profile. I want you to also DM people who engage in your content. So if they, you know, someone comes back to your profile, where are we at? What's going on here? There we go. So if someone's, you know, of these people that, you know, especially in the beginning, okay, this is especially in the beginning. Like if people start liking your post, then I would send a DM to people that engage in it. Once your profile gets a little bit bigger and you get like hundreds of likes then you probably want to just start reaching out to people that are commenting and just connect with them and see if there's a way to start a conversation, start a thread and see if they're a, a fit for the ClickBank product that you are promoting. Okay. So once you discover that they are a person, say we went and connected with somebody and let's just come back here. Let's come down here and let's see, maybe this could potentially be like a, this could be potentially our prospect. Uh, she speaks Spanish, so I'm probably not going to do that. But even like these girls, okay. Program will launch Saturday, August 10th. Until then, she would drop in and show you how she's done. So let's just say like we we engage with her, we start a DM, we discover that she might be interested in our product. The let's just do the the, the lean belly fix, okay. She might be potentially inter interested in that. So we send them a voice message. We connect with them. They respond back and they kind of mention like, oh, you have great content. Oh, you look like you help a lot of people with you know, fitness, women's fitness. You're like, yeah, I definitely do. And then here is kind of the script that you want to go off of. So first you want to ask them or just tell them, hey, tell me about your fitness situation. Are you looking to get help? Are you looking to you know, trim down some body fat? Tell me about that situation. And then they tell you that situation. Then Again, you have to just kind of gauge where they're at, and if but if they keep buying into this, then you know you want to keep on asking these questions because they're really good and they really set you up to sell this product. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is figure out the gap. You figure out where their current situation is, and then you figure out where they want to go. What's their goal, and then you you know you find the gap. So you're like, okay, so you're at twenty five percent body fat, and you want to get down to twenty percent body fat. Is that, is that accurate? So like you, in a sense, you kind of make them realize that they do have a problem because if they don't realize they have a problem, they're not gonna purchase anything. They're not gonna buy anything that's gonna help them with their problem, okay? So then they tell you that, like, okay, what do you think is missing? They tell you what they think is missing. Okay, what do you think you need most from me? It's very, very powerful because then you're setting yourself as an authority. And if they answer this question, they're like, oh, well, I think I need you to help me with this, this, and this. Like, okay, boom, awesome. And then the last question is, is this a priority? Is this a priority? If they say yes, they're like, awesome. Then you're like, okay, well, I think I have a product that I just really help you out. One of my friends, they put it together. It's an amazing product. Here's a link, check it out. They click on that, they purchase. Obviously not everyone's gonna purchase, but you made a solid connection. And if you keep, a, keep on putting out consistent quality content, eventually they're gonna keep coming back. And what's cool too, like I said before, this doesn't just apply just to ClickBank. You know, if they're wanting like one-on-one -on -one coaching, then you just say, hey, all right, let's get on the phone, you know, figure out a little bit more of their situation, and then you can just get offer them one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're if you're knowledgeable in that particular niche, right? Or if they want group coaching or they want something else, like you, you can go out there and find a different particular ClickBank product and you can sell that one to where you can send them the link, you know? So that's the gist, guys. As you can see, it's kind of an involved process. It's simple, but there's a lot to it, okay? If you can do this consistently, the big key is picking your niche, finding a product that's relevant to that, posting consistent quality content in your niche that's going to help them. Connect with people on a daily basis, the $1.80 strategy that Gary Vee talks about. DM new followers, DM people that are engaging in your content, 
And then when you see an opportunity of people that need your help, they need your product, your ClickBank product, or whatever it is that you're offering, then you take them through the DM strategy. Tell me about your situation. Figure out the gap. What do you think is missing? What do you think you need most from me? And is this a priority? If it is, you send them the link to the most relevant product. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully that gave you an insane amount of value and you really enjoyed that. Make sure and share this with your friends if you think they can get some value out of it. Leave a comment down below on what was your biggest breakthrough in this, in this video. What made the most sense? What are you gonna start implementing? Because the most important part about this video is you actually going out there and implementing this stuff. It does you no good to just watch this and say, hey, great video, okay? Only thing that's gonna help you is if, if you go out there and do this. And yes, if you're just starting out, this is a bit of a process, but you can see a month down the road, two months down the road, a couple months down the road, you're gonna see how you can build this up. Things compound over time. So if you just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, eventually you're gonna start building up a big profile with very engaged, loyal following that are people that are buying your ClickBank products or whatever the heck you are selling them, okay? Thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure and subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Come follow me to a secret place where only the moon can